Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? So guys, I want we're gonna I'm gonna start following this uh Beyond Skyrim, okay? I do know of the mods, um You know the mods that are coming through about Beyond Skyrim. Uh giving us uh, more places to explore outside of Skyrim within an actual Elder Scrolls game other than just Elder Scrolls Online, and it's called Beyond Skyrim. Uh, you only get access to the first part of the mod on Xbox and PC. It is not a PlayStation mod. I'm sorry, guys, but I believe it's because uh, PlayStation can't handle it, or it's because you guys have a lot of regulations. Um, remember, where PlayStation comes from, Japan, mods are illegal. So um, you're only allowed so many mods on the PlayStation because of this. So um, because it is uh, perfectly fine here in the States. All right. And that's why the Xbox, you, you realize on the Xbox and PC that we have access to way more mods. I'm an Xbox player. And I like playing on PC as well. And you notice both those uh, platforms have way more mods than PlayStation. And it's because they have mod support. Now, guys, this, uh, I guess they started doing a developer diary. I don't know when it started, but I'm going to be checking these out. And I'll be doing reaction videos for them, guys, for you guys. So, let's get going on this. Once again, to the Beyond Skyrim Developer Diary. been hard at work following the announcement of the New North, building the harsh archipelagos of Northern Morrowind for you to explore. Significant strides have been made regarding furniture, food, harvestables, and other details necessary for bringing life to the alien province. Progress has been made regarding new animals and monsters which can be found in this strange land. Enraged ancestor ghosts stalk forgotten tombs. Frostbitten zombies of Olenveld hide in secret places of the Sea of Ghosts, and adorable gorefish browse the inner sea for food. Perhaps the creature we're most excited to show off is the Aelet, one of the most recognizable faces from The Elder Scrolls III, given new life in Beyond Skyrim. Attentive ears should be able to recognize the tune currently playing as the road most traveled, one of the most distinctive tracks from The Elder Scrolls III. Our composer Eric Gordon has been working on reintroducing some of these nostalgic melodies to Morrowind to supplement his own original themes. Over in Iliac Bay, things have been moving at full speed in the landscaping department, with lots of work going on across Hammerfell and High Rock. Most noticeable is the overhauling of biomes included in their pre-release area. Five have been completed in the last three months, with many more on the way. This work has helped bring them all up to a higher level of quality, while also creating a consistent look across the provinces. The 2D and 3D artists have been working hard creating new concepts for the clothing and armors that will adorn the populace of the provinces, as well as starting to bring many of these concepts to life. In High Rock, 2D artists have been working on designing the look of Farun, a city players will be able to visit in the upcoming Three Kingdoms pre-release. The interior teams have been busy creating a wide array of dungeons that are scattered across the landscape, including caves, forts, and ancient Dereni strongholds. Aiding in this are the 3D artists who are creating new tile sets, such as the ancient Yoku tile set that players will be able to find and explore in the dry deserts of Hammerfell. That's awesome. Now we move from the dunes of Hammerfell's deserts to the rocky outcrops of elsewhere, where their concept artists have been busy working hard to create the atmosphere of the various regions of the Khajiit homeland, and some of its most notable locations. Some of these concepts have already been brought to life in the city of Rimen. Thanks to the tireless work of our 3D artists, this Akaviri city-state is being blocked out in the creation kit. Another concept being brought to life is the tile set of the lunar temples that will be scattered across the landscape of elsewhere, 
where the Khajiit can visit to pay homage to the moons. That's just cool. Work has started on writing the various quests for the city of Riverhold, as well as the dialogue for the many NPCs who will inhabit the world. Sorry guys, that's extremely rude. Return to the ancient north, where the Atmora team has been making steady progress on realizing the unique setting and quests. The 3D department has been hard at work creating new assets after receiving a boost from new recruits, and great progress has been made on quest-specific architecture and the custom stallroom weapon and armor set. The team is also excited. To God damn it! Again, guys, sorry about that. My mother is being fucking rude as fuck right now. <sighs> Trying to do this reaction video for you guys. It hasn't been interrupted twice. <sighs> Back to the video, guys. Sorry about that. ...to announce that custom map markers are implemented and fully functional in the mod. This was achieved in collaboration with Grievacy from TES Renewal's Sky Oblivion project, and the new icons our concept artists have developed. As implementation continues to make good progress on the main quest line and a number of side quests, the Frostfall effects are also in the works. For writing, the remaining side quests are being steadily finished, and more recently, the scroll texts have been hand-placed around the world for the player to find glimpses of what this ancient culture was like. The team is also working on unique boss fights for a number of quests, as remaining level design claims are complete Further south in Roskrea, work continues on polishing the islands for release. Implementation are hard at work creating the various factions across the island, as well as getting their dialogue set up for their voice artists to start recording. Their 3D department has also been busy producing more assets, including various armors, weapons, food, clothing. That's cool. That's really fucking cool. Recently, they have been working hard on improving Crane Shore, the major imperial settlement in Roskrea, with a major landscaping pass to bring it to a higher quality. I have a feeling part Crane Shore of will, of course, be the first place in Roskrea that the player will set foot in, and it's important that the city give off the impression we want. These islands are an alien land of strange customs and long forgotten ruins, and Crane Shore is the last bastion of Tamrielic civilization there is. The true end of the world. Finally, to the heart of Tamriel, Cyrodiil, where a large focus has been placed on Breville, with most of the writing being completed and made ready for implementation. So been a big focus on the interiors, many of which are now completed and ready to receive their inhabitants. The local area is also getting another landscaping pass, making use of newer assets. Landscaping is also getting on with Blackwood, creating an endless swamp that the player will be able to get lost in. Kavach is also coming close to complete, with the last few quests being implemented allowing us to take it to the next phase and begin voice acting for the various denizens who make the city their home. The art team has been busy working on the various concepts of clothing and clutter, as well as our team of 3D artists, bringing them to life for clothing, armor, and weapons. 
This is just a small look into the work our teams have been working on. So if you'd like to see That's more, awesome. don't forget to join yes. our Discord server. I definitely and if you have the skills, please do consider joining up. We are always looking for dedicated writers, artists, level designers, and voice actors. So if you're interested, please fill out an application form on our website. We hope you've enjoyed your view into Beyond Skyrim, and we'll see you in Tamriel. That, that's a fucking badass, guys. Guys, I can't wait for the mod to be done! Alright. One second, guys. Heresy. That's what you get punished for. No! Not for being part of the resistance. Well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out my other YouTube videos. And don't forget to push that like and subscribe button. And also push the little bell for a reminder. You guys, have yourselves a great day. And stay frosty.